Los Angeles Rabbi Yitzi Hurwitz is battling ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, but even as he is facing devastating setbacks, he is inspiring and strengthening people's faith all around the world. My husband was the most energetic person I've ever met. When we first married, I used to call him Tigger because he bounced around everywhere. And no matter how hard our lives have gotten together, if he's there with me, I can do it. Rabbi Yitzi Hurwitz was diagnosed with ALS five years ago on his 41st birthday, a disease that has now left him paralyzed and unable to speak. The milestones are always really hard on me. Milestones like Yitzi and Dina's recent 22nd wedding anniversary. At the end of the day, I just wanted a hug, and it's been four and a half years since he was able to do that, and that's hard. But their enduring love and faith keeps them going. Rabbi Yitzi, I know what an amazing woman Dina is. How would you describe Dina? Dina is a great woman, and it is an honor to be her husband. She is the love of my life and my best friend. With all that we are going through, she holds the family together, takes care of us, and showers us with love. And he's part of his family's life as much as he can be. They get to see love in his eyes and pride and laughter. He may not be able to move or speak, but ALS didn't take his mind. With the help of cutting-edge technology, using his eyes, Rabbi Yitzi writes a weekly Bible blog. And enjoys visits from rabbinical students. I caught up with the Hurwitz family on the festive holiday of Purim, often compared to Halloween. Lots of children dressed up to cheer you up. What does this mean for you, seeing your community come to you and visit you like this, especially being homebound? I love to have visitors. It uplifts me and gives me life. It is so humbling, and we are so grateful. Because of them, we don't feel alone. But Rabbi Yitzi is not only receiving, he is giving. Shining a light through words of wisdom and a song he wrote. The Shine a Little Light video that was made, it's so beautiful. Rabbi Yitzi, I know you wrote this song before your diagnosis. We knew that a song was being made, but we didn't know how much love was being put into it. That was a surprise, and that made us feel so loved. Every person has a little light that they can use to impact the world, but when we're all together, it can become something so amazing. I've heard people tell me that that's the song that got them through the cancer ward. That song saved their lives, and he's really making an impact. And Dina is too. She, his wife, has done, has uplifted the hearts and souls of so many people. So in a sense, through his terrible adversity and difficulties, he's brought faith to thousands, if not millions, of others. But ALS has robbed Dina and their seven children of so much. My son one day comes over to me and he says, I feel like we lost a father and the world got a hero. He says, I know the world needs a hero, but we also need a father. And I just hugged him and cried. ALS is a very difficult disease. Rabbi Yitzi, how do you stay so positive and does this ever test your faith? What keeps me going is the realization that God is real, that he has a plan for the world, and I am part of it. When you see it this way, instead of feeling down when you are in a challenging situation, you are filled with a sense of purpose and you are lifted up. Your faith is tested as well, I imagine. I'm always talking to God. Sometimes it's an exasperated, what do you want from me? <laughs> and um, sometimes it's, wow, this is an amazing life that we get to live. And he encourages people to do good and be good all over the world. But I imagine perhaps his message is even more spiritual and has had greater impact. Absolutely. And messages of hope to keep going, that God is with you in your struggles. It has strengthened both of our faith. He's really my entire world, and as long as he's in it, my world is a good place. Well, as we said, Rabbi Yitzi writes a weekly Bible blog, and in honor of Passover, which begins Friday, he wrote one about the significance of the three matzahs and the four cups of wine that are part of every traditional Seder. Now, both the rabbi and his wife, Dina, are so resilient, as you saw there, despite everything they're going through. And guys, as Dina said, it wouldn't be called faith if it were easy. <laughs> Beautiful. But they are living, yeah. Natalie. What an incredible story you brought us. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you.